Hello and welcome back. In today's episode, I want to talk a little bit about the software. I took some time, in fact I took a lot of time, uh, not only to have a short holiday, but uh, to travel a bit, to talk to other makers um, around Europe, and we had some discussion about the software that I was going to use for this project and in the end I sat down and I rewrote a lot of it. Um, the problem that I had was that the software that I'd written before was uh, very elaborate and uh, more or less designed to teach other people about how the software was supposed to run and uh, for this project I'll be going the other way and I will make it make it very complicated um, but small with a very dedicated set of features. So I started out rewriting um, the whole um, stepper motor handling. Um, I was able to build on some of the things I did before um, so the software already um, has all the configuration and setup so I can use uh, simple um, unipolar steppers or I can use the step sticks and it can even do um, other stepper controls via H bridges and stuff like that. So uh, that took quite a lot of time. Um, in fact I rewrote the whole set so um, the steppers could be using the uh, timer one on the Arduino board and when I was done with that I realized that the um, that the servo that I use for my 2.5 axis uh, CNC machines would no longer work because it requires timer one so I rewrote a uh, small stepper class that uses timer 2 and that was basically it so that was about two weeks of work um, I'm gonna plug it in now and it's going to go through a set of self-tests um, but these are pretty interesting because uh, you can already see that although this is uh, basically the first version, it is already pretty fast. First it is going to test the stepper, uh, the servo, sorry. It will move it to its maximum positions um, forward and backward. It'll do that at uh, different speeds. After that it will do something that I call um, servo emulation. So you can use the servo like a stepper and vice versa. And uh, then it uh, tests several iterations of the Brisenham algorithm, um, which I actually uh, integrated into the uh, stepper class. Uh, I didn't get to do anything else on new mountings for the rails or the threaded rods or the steppers. Um, I will do that next and I will continue working on the software um, to give it more features and um, to be able to have it process G-code. And when I'm done with that, which will be hopefully um, until next week, I'll report back here. Thank you very much for watching and bye bye.